Well, an L County town wants to improve the neighborhoods there by fixing up some eyesores. They've started a fund that raises money to renovate or tear down blighted houses. Alice Singens joined us live from Ridgeway to tell us how their new Blight to Bright fund works. Allison? Yeah, John, Amanda, there are around 40 known blighted houses around Ridgeway. Now, I spoke to the family that owns the blighted property you see behind me, and they say this fund could be a solution. Marianne Stolberg's brother bought this house on South Street during a tax sale. Because he fell into bad health, it sat here in need of repair. It needs a new roof. It needs a lot of things. Now they may get the help they need. Ridgeway Borough started a Blight to Bright fund. It can be used to either tear down or fix up blighted properties in town, like the Stolbergs. It would be wonderful because it's pretty much the only house on the street that needs help. But, you know, it, it needs a lot of work and it really needs to revitalize. Code Enforcement Officer Michael Handley says this fund will receive some money from property maintenance citations, but will mostly rely on donations that will help the town beyond its houses. We're starting to lose grants and, and state fundings because of the low population, so we need to kind of take care of ourselves. So they can fix up the houses to bring pride and new residents into the community. And now a public list of all the blighted houses around Ridgeway will become available at the borough office. And for information on how you can donate to this fund, we'll have that on our website, wearecentralpa.com. In Ridgeway, I'm Allison Gens, WTAJ News.